Hello, today we are going to look at the Dahua conventional fire alarm control panel. So this is how it looks like. It has uh, that kind of appearance and then it takes in different detectors like smoke detector, uh, this heat detector. So I'll just try to open it up. So this heat detector, we have other types of just the same heat detector, both of them. And then we have the uh, manual call point. Uh, we also have the siren uh, or sound strobe. Uh, so going through this uh, from the panel, I'll just open it up. So opening the panel, it has a network port. It has a USB port. The network port is to connect the platform and any other uh, system that we need to share information with through the network. Then we can use the USB uh, to export any logs and data reports. Then it supports uh, a built-in battery. This battery generally is for the purposes of power backup. In the event we lose the mains, a switch switch between the mains and the power backup, we don't need to uh, our fire alarm system to be offline. Then it has four zones. Uh, supports also other options like auxiliary connections to any other system. It has RS-485 and RS-232 for integration and debugging. So with this, uh, now I'm going to switch on. So I've connected the mains and also done some brief wiring. Uh, one wiring uh, is for the first zone, zone one. And also, I also have wiring for uh, this bell. So the bells, uh, the difference between this uh, conventional fire alarm and the addressable is that in conventional fire alarm, the bell system is set separately, uh, while the addressable fire alarm, uh, we just consider them as different points. So with this, uh, oh, I forgot to power it, so I'll power it on and also just make sure the backup also is connected. Uh, so while it's powering, this is what I have here. Uh, I have a sounder strobe on a different circuit from the panel. Then I also have the detectors on a difference. So this is the smoke sensor, heat detector, a heat detector, and a manual call point. So these are uh, options you have for fire alarm detectors uh, then you can output any other things so I uh, just let my detector power on then I'm going to to give it admin uh, and silence the alarms then I'm also going to log in to make sure that I'm ad I have admin control uh, in this case for this demo so once my fire alarm system is on you'll see that it's giving me zone one no lights zone two fault fault zone three and zone four not connected so we we leave that we'll just work with what what we have so let's say we have an incident of a fire alarm uh, either smoke sensor heat sensor or uh, the call point is triggered so let me trigger this call point so once you trigger the call point by default the sound of strobe will come on but for silence I can just do the remote sounder uh, and it will silence this but still you realize the control panel is still producing so I need to also silence it then I'll go back to my manual call point and also disable it one thing is you'll just know there is an alarm from the manual call point uh, on the panel you'll have just sorry uh, so I'll press uh, oh, I need to to, uh, to disarm it first. So I have the buzzer uh, and the remote sounder. So I can just press to to disable that. So I'll just silence silence it. But now it is armed. So in the event we have a manual call point alarm, it will be triggered in this way, and then we can have a complete fire alarm system working. So we can integrate this with Dahua DSS and any other system that can support uh, integration with third-party alarms, fire alarm, and any other components like the sprinkler system. Uh, so thank you so much for, for your time. I hope you can join us in the next classes uh, when we talk about uh, Dahua fire alarm systems. Thank you.